I got started doing costuming when my daughter Taylor was seven and she decided to start pursuing acting in local community theaters and um, then she started doing all of the shows at her Catholic school up in Charlottesville. Anyone who knows community theater knows that whenever you have a mom that knows how to sew, they get involved in helping with costumes. So I kind of started there years ago. Then as she grew older, it kind of just became a natural thing for me to continue on. It's something that I love doing and I'm pretty good at it. People say, you know, gosh, all you ever do is, you know, you work, you know, full time and then you work full time. And I tell them that the theater and the costuming is more my creative outlet and it's what I do for fun. Yeah, well, this is a fairy godmother's wig and she has this cloak that covers her head for half of the thing before she reveals herself. So Cinderella was the opening show for our season at Virginia Musical Theater. This was a huge show. It was a huge cast um, with a gigantic costume. I think I had 140 costumes. I think the fastest costume change we had in the show was about 32 seconds. So yeah, it's it was very exciting. You have to have something that you're really passionate about. I love my work at EBMS and I think it is very fulfilling. I also think it's very necessary um, and uh, I feel very good about what we're doing and the kind of things that we're doing for people and for the community and you know, health is an important aspect of life. But then I think everyone needs to have a creative outlet. And so what I do is somewhat creative at work, but not necessarily um, the same kind of thing as the creativity that I can, can have doing my costuming business. So it gives me a lot of fulfillment.